A delegation from the European Union, United States and NATO is travelling to Georgia where it will attempt to broker a ceasefire between Georgia and Russia. More than 2,000 people have been killed since the conflict over control of South Ossetia began on Thursday. Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin has described the violence as genocide. Georgia's president says he'll only call a ceasefire when Russia stops its attacks. The port town of Poti has suffered the consequences of Russian air strikes. The Kremlin has been angered by Georgia's request to join NATO. Many inside Georgia believe this bloodshed is the consequence of Russian anger. But it is civilians who are the most immediate concern, with the number of dead continuing to rise. In the Georgian town of Gori, they understand the meaning of Russian power. This woman is helpless as she stares at what's left of her house. It is Russian aggression that's cost me everything, she says. The Kremlin's machine has been striking what it claims are strategic military targets. But it is far from precise. We heard the sound of two Russian fighter jets overhead and then two really loud bangs. Now, on the other side of this building is a Georgian military installation. Now, it seems that was the target, but the bomb blast has come through these civilian buildings, shattered all of the windows, and we're told that there have also been a number of casualties. Russia has sent more armoured vehicles into the breakaway republic. It claims it's protecting its citizens and Russian peacekeepers. But as a state of war is formally declared, Georgia says this is now only about confrontation. We are in state of self-defence against foreign aggression, and this aggression is coming from the land, air and maritime forces of the Russian Federation. This nation is right now fighting for its survival, but we are also fighting, fighting for world peace and we are also fighting for future world order. The wider political ramifications are also being felt around the world. New divisions between East and West are scratching their way into the history books. It has been started by uh, irresponsible decision of the Georgian president. The West has to understand that it should be blamed and we should find the way out of that situation. Otherwise, that disaster will grow and, uh, you know, the repercussions of it you know, can't be described in a, in, a, in a civilized language, so to say. Georgia is strategically important as an energy transit route to the West, as Russia is well aware. Alex Rossi, Sky News, Gory.